The universe will give to you anything, anything that you want if you can remember what I'm going to share with you in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's time to manifest your dream, if you're sick and tired of going through the going through and you just want to see that thing enter your world, then this video is for you. My name is Ben, welcome to Adelaide, let's jump on in. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. If it's your first time here, I hope you love it and you're blessed by the message. If you are, why not consider subscribing? I post videos just like this one every day of the week. And if you love universal principles and you want to dive deeper, then check out the link in the description below to my coaching and mentoring program. But folks, today I wanted to talk with you even briefly about a way that we can actually move forward in the creation process. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when people talk about the law of attraction, when people talk about recognizing dreams and making manifest those things in their world that is important to them. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a free meal at a restaurant, whether it's a new car, promotion at work, healing in your body, restoration to a relationship, millions of dollars in the lottery. Whatever your dream is, you only have that dream for one reason. Now, if you've been on the channel for a while, you will have heard me say this, but it bears repeating. You only have a dream in your heart for one reason, and that reason is for it to come true. Now, you might say to me, Ben, really, is that really the case? You know, sometimes I feel like I've just... I've come up with this thing out of nowhere and it's just not going to happen. Folks, if you felt like that, you're not alone. In fact, that's something that each of us journeys through on the way to manifesting that thing. It's part of the process. You see, each and every single person in the world today, everyone who has lived in the past and everyone who is to be born, has unique dreams buried deep on the inside. And no two dream is the same. You might want to win the lottery and your next door neighbor might want to win the lottery, but what it means to both of you are two very different things. You may want to manifest a brand new car and your closest friend may also want to manifest the brand new car, but yet they're different cars and different colors and different buying experiences and different joys to be had in the new car once it's made manifest. Your dream might be to manifest the love of your life, maybe even a specific person, start a family, be the best mum or the best dad you can be. That might also be the dream of somebody else you know, they might be pining for that. And yet your dream is completely different because every single moving piece of your dream is totally different from all the moving pieces of theirs. So you see, folks, even though a dream may look similar on the outside, your dream is unique. And the reason you have that dream is for it to be made manifest. Do you remember when you were young, maybe you watched cartoons like I did? I loved cartoons. And you'd often see the cartoons and they'd have the carrot dangling on the stick and the rabbit will be sniffing the carrot as it goes this way trying to get the stick trying to get the carrot on the stick but the carrot was just always out of reach well folks we can draw some parallels from that you see your dream has not been given to you so that you can sit in the pocket of frustration your dream has not been planted in your heart so that you can be annoyed, upset, stuck in low vibration at the fact it's not coming true and at the fact there seems so much opposition coming towards you. The reason you have that dream and that it means so much to you is that is the dream and the significance that will carry you through the weight of the journey you must walk to manifest that thing. To manifest the love, the money, the promotion, the relationship, the home, the car, the holiday, the health, 
whatever it is in your heart, there is a journey you must walk. And it's in walking that journey that you become the person who can and will manifest that thing. So the rich tapestry of life's experiences combine together. And when the ingredients are just right, when the balance is just so, bang, like magic. What's that? Oh, it's my manifestation. It's the keys to the house. It's the wedding ring. It's the baby in the arms. It's the bank account with all of those zeros on the end of it. Wow. But it's not until you walk the journey that creates in you both the heart and character and also the mindset of the person who can not just manifest that thing, but who can live in a world where that manifestation is actually a blessing to them. Perhaps you've heard me use the parallels before that we draw with lottery winners. You've heard the stories, you've read the newspaper articles, there have been people and scores of them who have gone and won the lottery. Millions of dollars. Just a few years later, their life is in ruins. It's in the gutter. They've lost all the people around them. Even their family. They have addiction problems. They are literally in the gutter. And these people say, I wish I had never won the lottery. It's the worst thing that happened to me. Now, how can that be true? How can something of such weight and value and significance be the ruination of someone? Well, I'll tell you, it's because they have not had the journey in life that has created within them a millionaire's mindset. So, easy come, easy go. Have you ever known some people and they are getting to this relationship and you think to yourself, wow, that partner, that's, that's a great, great partner for them. What a blessed relationship that must be. And then months down the track, it's a big bust up and it's emotional hurt and pain and trying to get through it. How can that be? It's because that person hasn't had the journey that has created in them what is required for a successful relationship. So they're still in the journey. And folks, can I encourage you? We're all in the journey. We're all going through the going through. But as long as you keep moving, you will arrive. All you have to do is keep moving. You know, there's, a, there's an analogy or an illustration that I just love. Now, if you could imagine in your mind's eye a beautiful, great, big cruise ship full of all the best times, the best people in the world. And this big cruise boat is out in the middle of the ocean. And it should be the, the best time for everybody on board. And yet this cruise ship is stuck. It's not moving. Even the biggest cruise ship in the world cannot move, and cannot shift its direction without someone moving it forward. Now you see there's a tiny little rudder at the back of a cruise ship and when there's forward motion that rudder can be used to change the direction of the ship. But while that ship is stuck at sea, that rudder is completely useless. So the important thing is, is to get your big cruise liner moving, even if it's moving in the wrong direction. Because if you're moving in the wrong direction, you can use your rudder, and the universe will give you signs and promptings from within and cause you to meet people and have associations, and you will begin to move and shift. That's what energy does. That's what the journey is for. So folks, if you can remember this one thing, and that is to approach life like this. I will keep moving forward. I will keep moving in some direction and allow the universe to shift and to steer me. Even if you're off track, it's okay as long as you are journeying, but when you stop, you can't move anywhere. You can't shift, you can't change, you can't turn around and start heading in the right direction. You're just stuck. Don't get stuck, just keep moving forwards in whatever direction that might be for you. And folks, know this, so often in life, and here's the kicker, so often in life we approach things with an attitude of, what's the worst that could happen? I'll give this a shot, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen is really an invitation for the worst that could happen. 
Now, this might sound a little esoteric, but bear with me because it holds water. Words have energy. Even the sound waves that we hear on are vibrational energy. So when we say things like, what's the worst that could happen? We actually embed and imprint that mindset within us. And of course we know, when we ask ourselves a question like that, and it goes into the subconscious, the RAS, the reticular activating system in the subconscious, simply goes about your world analyzing all of the material out there so that it can find things that validate its belief and put them on your radar. That's what the RAS does. This is why subconscious limiting behavior can be so damaging. Folks, when you say, what's the worst that could happen? Your RAS goes, where's the worst thing that could happen? It's, we'll put that on his radar. Is it that over there? Is it this breakup? Is it that? Is it? And that's what happens. Even if you just mm, don't even really mean it like that, words have vibrational energy. We must learn to weigh our words and our intentions. So it's so important to understand it's not about what's the worst that could happen. It's about, here comes the best. Even in faith, I'm moving forward. Folks, the universe will give you anything that you want because the dream that is inside of your heart, it's for you and for you alone. And it's put in your heart for one reason. That is so it can be made manifest. The reason you have a dream in your heart to be made manifest is so that you can walk through life's journey and actually become the person you are meant to be to fulfill your purpose. So many people walk around life and they, I don't know what my purpose is, I don't, I'm stuck on the great big machine of life. Your purpose is to accomplish and achieve and recognize and manifest your dreams because the manifestation of a dream is the completion of the journey to wholeness. And when you manifest that dream, that million dollars, the home, the partner, the job, whatever it is, the baby in your arms, when you are holding that, another dream will begin to burst forth in the garden of your heart. Maybe something you don't even know is there. That's the next adventure. That's the next exciting thing to achieve. So get out there and get after it, folks. Life doesn't end with the accomplishment of a dream. The accomplishment of a dream is the gift you are given because you have journeyed and become the person who can manifest that thing. Now it's on to the next one. Folks, the whole purpose of life is just to have experiences. It's to have your experience, to fulfill your purpose, and you have purpose. There is greatness on the inside of you. Now I believe and declare that your best days are still ahead of you. And I declare that the universe will provide for you a clear, easy path to manifesting that dream. Just keep moving forward. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me and spending a little bit of time with me each day. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. There'll be another video out tomorrow, so come and join me then, but for today, well, that's all I have the time for. I pray this has blessed you. I pray that this has uplifted you and left you in a higher vibration. Because now you know that not only will you manifest that thing, but there is beauty to be found in the journey that you are walking today. I love you. See you tomorrow. Peace.